when this was cool. Did you ever do this? What up, bitches? Elementary school. Are we going? Okay. Hi, how are you guys today? My name is Bailey Sarian and I want to sit down and do a get ready with me because it's been such a long time since I've done a get ready with me. A lot has happened, let me tell you. Happy Hanukkah. If you're out there, I hope you're having a great Hanukkah. So I thought today because I'm wearing like grungy clothes that a smoky, <sighs> my teeth are chipped. Like what happened? Look at that, it's chipped. That's a problem. I was thinking about doing like a smoky eye because it's been a while since I've done a smoky eye, like a good grungy black smoky eye. So I'm going to start with my eyes first because I know I'm going to create a mess. I'm just using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover Camouflage Makeup for face and for body. I use this as eyeshadow primer a lot of the time. It makes a great eyeshadow primer. I'm out of breath. I don't even know why. <laughs> I think bending over really did it for me. A lot of the times when I film a get ready with me, what happens is word vomit because that's the story of my life. And I like word vomit everything I, I wanted to say and get it off my chest. And then the whole rest of the tutorial, I'm sitting here like, <laughs> so I don't know what else to talk about. So I'm trying to like contain myself and not word vomit at all. This is a palette by Viseart, structured brow and eyeshadow palette. Now I've been kind of going balls deep, raw dog, with the Viseart palettes and because like you guys mentioned them to me, am I using those terms right? Yeah. Okay, so I've got like a, a bunch of the palettes, okay, because they're not as expensive as Natasha Denona, but they're so good. So this one is for, it has eyebrow gels and then these mattes, which you can use in your brows, but you can also use them as eyeshadows. So I'm going to use this shade right up in here, the fluffier blending brush. And I'm just gonna place this, sorry, it's creasing, hollow of my eye, boom shakalaka, do some blendation. Okay, so it's December, can you believe it? We made it. This year has gone by so fast and so slow at the same time, and it's just crazy that, it's just crazy. Yo, what's going on? I remember my dad, I think it was my dad, it might've been my mom, one of the parentals told me, once you graduate high school, like everything just starts to go by really fast. And I was like, shut up, no it doesn't. Life is so like, like just slow. I just wanted to be an adult so bad. And then you get here and you're like, what the hell? It's expensive to be alive. Okay, so it was my birthday, November 26. It was great. I, a lot of people ask me what my sign is. And to be honest, I don't know too much about signs to like really like explain what I am. I, I just know I'm a Sag Sagittarius, but I'm that but I'm also right on the cusp of a Scorpio, I think it is. So I think based off of what I read one time, I think that means I'm a little bit of both, but I could be wrong. Again, no idea what it means though. Okay, once I have that blended out, I'm now going in with a black eyeliner. This could be really any black gel eyeliner of your choosing, but today I'm using the Marc Jacobs Gel Crayon in Blacker. I like these because they're really easy to smudge and blend. Okay, so I'm doing like a really thick black line with it, right? Oh yeah, get it, get it. Doesn't have to be perfect. You know when you have too much coffee and like you can't breathe, cause like you just like, that's me right now. And then I'm drinking a Red Bull. Like I don't even drink Red Bull. I don't know who I think I am today. Now I'm just taking a, a flat eyeshadow brush. This, I think this is technically a concealer brush. Why is my mouth foaming? <laughs> am I dying? I'm smudging it downwards. Now you wanna do this before the eyeliner dries because once the eyeliner dries, it's just not a good look. Okay, so what else? Oh yeah, it was my birthday. I'm a cusp, I'm a cusp. For my birthday, I really didn't even want, I didn't want anything. I didn't ask for anything because I don't, I don't need anything. Like I have everything I want in life. Happy, I'm healthy, I have a nice, wonderful man. I have a cute dog. But Fern, of course, he, he can't accept the fact that I like don't want something. He just like, he just can't do it. He still has to get me something, you know, which is cute. But he got tickets for us to go see Wicked the Musical because I just started doing it at the Pantages Theater in LA. And I've always wanted to see Wicked. I think like I was 16 or something is when I got the book. So we went to see Wicked and it was magical. I cried. I cried because it was a full circle moment in my life. I remember being younger, a teenager, and wanting to see Wicked, thinking it was never gonna happen. I mean, why would it ever happen? And then here I was, seeing Wicked. It was just crazy. 
So it was one of those moments. There's a black matte shade in here and I'm just going to take that with like a fluffier crease brush, but this is a smaller crease brush. So it really can get in targeted areas and not spread the color all over the place. So I like this one, I just kind of want, wait, I don't want black, why'd I do that? Let me wipe my brush off, same brush. This one right here, we're gonna use this dark brown with the targeted small crease brush. This is gonna go right like on the edge of the black. So I'm placing it right in here. And if there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I love the imperfect, smoky, like grungy looks. When I first started my channel, I felt like I did that a lot. And then lately I haven't been, I think because you go through stages where you're really into looks and then you kind of stop and you get into something else and you stop. Also on my birthday, we went to this restaurant because it's called a Pacific Dining Car. Uh, they have lobster, they serve breakfast all day. They're open 24 hours a day. They also wear like the servers wear tuxedos and stuff. I know like, I don't know who I think I am going there, right? Before I get on. But now I'm taking the black eyeshadow with my flat all over shadow brush and I'm patting this all over the lid, over the liner, up into my crease. The only reason we went there is because on your birthday, you get a free meal. And maybe if it's free, it's me, you know what I'm saying? Going back to like my blending brush to blend that edge, just with a very light touch. The reason I put the black liner down first, because a lot of people ask me about that, because have you ever tried to just put a black eyeshadow on your lid and you keep stacking it and then you blend and it disappears or it's just not looking super black enough? Putting a black liner down first will give you a really dark base. So when you put shadow on top of it, a magical moment happens. It's called a smoky eye. And then today for our foundation, the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Vanilla. Ever since Jill did my makeup, but she used this as my foundation and I've been using it as foundation ever since. I've switched it up here and there, but I tend to keep going back to it. It's just so nice. Mm-hmm. So, okay, what else do we do? On my birthday, Fern also painted my name at Venice Beach. Um, every year he like paints my name somewhere and it's really cute. I really look forward to it now. <laughs> I feel bad though, cause I don't want him to be stressed out. Like, where is he gonna paint my name this year? Very cute, it was like the perfect day. A lot of people were asking me if you did it legally. It's a great question, I don't know. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Natural. Brand new, just opened up this bad boy. It's been a while since I've used this and you know I missed it. So I, was, I just got another one. YOLO, as they say. Do they still say that? Okay, YOLO. I'm putting this underneath my eyes. I wanna shine bright like a diamond. Duh, I forgot, Fernando gave me a tattoo for my birthday. <laughs> it's really flaky and gross right now. I haven't put lotion on it. This is normal. If you get tattooed, it, go, it gets really scabby, flaky, and gross. So right now it's in that stage. You know, everyone thinks like because I'm with a tattoo artist, oh, I must get like free tattoos all the time, etc., cetera, et cetera. And let me tell you, that's not the case at all. You know, as they say, the shoemaker's kids Never have any shoes. <laughs> you know, you're always last on the list because I'm not paying and he'd rather, you know, tattoo people who are gonna pay him or, you know, you're just, you're just last on the list. For the last year, I was like, maybe I could get tattooed for my birthday. Okay, but yeah, I've been wanting it for a while. I wanna kind of cover up this left arm because it's ugly. I don't regret it, but it's just, it's just ugly. I guess I can try and like, add more color to it. Everything is just dead looking and not colorful. Whereas my left arm is very colorful and bright. And yeah, I love that I want a colorful arm, but I went with all black. See right here, it set, used to say sin for sale. I got it when I was 18. I thought it was the shit. I was like sin for sale. Now I think it's kind of whack and I just put the rose over it and uh, that's my story. A lot of people want me to do a, a tattoo video and I really want to. I really overthink things here on my channel. Like I film a lot of videos, but they won't, I won't upload them because I don't like something. And it's like, it just, I let it bother me too much to where I won't even upload it. It's really stupid. I gotta let that go. You know, I've never seen Frozen. Going back to this palette, I'm now going to use it in my eyebrows. So these three over here are like a gel or a wax type. I like this darker shade with an angle brush. And then I just fill in my brows. Lately, I've been doing like a really defined eyebrow. Boom shakalaka, boom. So I just kinda like go for it. For Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I did a lot of shopping because I wanted to do like a haul video. And so I got a lot of stuff. I mean, 
Levi's, they were on sale for 40% off. So when am I gonna get Levi's for 40% off? So I got some Levi's, I got a couple of jeans, and then I got some shoes. I just stocked up on like things that I really like. I already know I like them versus trying to get new stuff. Some of the stuff came in, has come in quick, right? I already got some of the stuff I ordered. Some other stuff is just who knows where it's at. It's in La La Land. So do I wait until everything comes in and then make the video? You know, like early November last month, I really wanted to put up the Christmas tree. Like I was asking Fern, like, is it too early? Can I put up the Christmas tree? Ah. We decided that it was too early. Let's wait until December. Now it's December and we haven't even put it up yet. I'm kind of like, I'm not as excited. But I went on Amazon and I ordered a bunch of like holiday Christmas ornaments, you know, the balls. So I got a bunch of balls. I was thinking about getting a black Christmas tree because I saw on Pinterest black Christmas trees and I was like, oh shit, that's sick. That's what I said. I don't know. I just didn't want to buy another Christmas tree. That's kind of silly. I already have a white one that we bought last year. Like, who do I think I am? Just use what you got, Bailey. So white Christmas tree, but I got a bunch of different size balls. I got blue balls. I got green balls. I got purple balls. I got all the balls and I'm going to put them up on my Christmas tree. It's going to be a very colorful Christmas tree this year. And then I take a powder like this one. Go over the gel to like set it. I've never seen Britney in concert and I think I deserve to see her. Uh, Who is it? Who's calling you? The front door. What is it? It's the front, it was the front door. It's so annoying whenever we get mail and stuff, we have to buzz in the mail guy. Oh, let me tell you how frustrating this is because if you miss the front door call, you don't get your package or whatever. Like what if that's something that I need? I don't need anything, but like, you know, it's just frustrating. Anyways, this is the NARS Soft Velvet Loose Setting Powder in Desert. I go through stages, of course, with this as well. Lately, I've been really, 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 really dry. And when that's the case, I like this as a setting powder because it doesn't dry me out at all. Lately, the Lancome, setting powder that I was using. I love that one. It makes you look airbrushed and like flawless, but it makes you look hella dry if you are dry. And then the Laura Mercier has been making me look really dry too. Now I'm going to do my lower lash line because I have the, the powder on, I might as well like this bad boy, Marc Jacobs. And again, you can use any black eyeliner. You don't have to use this one. So I'm just going pretty thick down here. Then I'm taking a small brush with nothing on it. And I'm gonna smudge that because it looks pretty awful. This bad boy right there. I'm putting this over the black. I feel like the black is making me kind of look too goth girl. I don't know. So right down here and then just smudging it out. It's so hard to not get fat during the holidays. I don't know how anyone does it. There's just so much good food, especially like my birthday thrown into the mix because then there's always some bomb birthday cake or like birthday dinner or something. And I'm so over food. I don't, I'm just sick of food right now. I don't want to eat anything. I look crazy. I look dead. I love it. Hot. I'm going to use a fluffier brush. Okay, let me just tell you this brush right here is so strange. It has a weird shape to it. Like a, it's not like a normal point. It's like a leaning point. Do you see it? Or is it just me? You see it? Yeah, but I, I think it's supposed to be that way or I'm just tripping balls. But I love this brush. I think it's supposed to be angled like that or it just got bent. But this brush is so nice if you want like a sheer wash of powder foundation or to dust off your powder, but I just love it. The Smashbox brushes are some of my favorites. I was thinking about that today because I was making a list of my 2018 favorites. Was this 2018 or was this last year? It's a favorite. This is a contour palette from MAC. It is the light medium contour palette, but this one right here is Sculpt. If I'm contouring my face, most likely I'm using Sculpt from MAC. But this palette's nice because you get a good selection. What else should I talk about? Oh my God, my shirts. I made shirts, remember? I was gonna wear it today, but I didn't think about it until I was driving. Jeez Louise, I'm the worst at pimping out products. Fern and I made this design. Well, okay, look, real talk. I, it was my, all my idea, thought of everything, and then Fern helped me draw the design. He made, helped him with the, the rat. It just kind of was sitting on my computer forever. I know that I wanted to make it into a shirt at some point. 
I just didn't know when the opportunity was going to come my way. So it's just been sitting there. Anyways, I got contacted by a merch company called Merch Labs. Now they make merch for numerous either influencers or businesses. Order a shirt, they make it, and then they'll ship it out. So they do all the dirty work as far as like shipping and making the product. They reached out to me and they were like, hey, would you wanna do something? Like a merch, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hell yeah, I already got the design. And I sent it his way. And then um, I picked out the shirts I wanted. They're super soft. Like I'm not even trying to brag, but I am. Cause they're super soft. They're long, they're stretchy. They're like, you can wear them as a shirt. You could wear it as a dress, pajamas. I don't care what you do, but it's fucking badass. The reason, cause a lot of people were asking, well, one, why do you only have one design out? Cause most people launch like 30 different products at once or whatever. And the reason being is that they wanted to do like a trial with me just to see if I actually sold product. Cause they don't want to like sign this contract with someone who can't sell product. So they're like, let's make one design. And then if you sell product, then we can move forward and make more designs in the future. So that's why there's only one design. Hopefully we impress them so I get the opportunity to make more merch. But for now, I'll take what I can get. You know what I'm saying? But like a handful of people were like, ew, why is there an ugly rat? And the reason is because, I've seen the video of the pizza rat from New York. Nick, have you seen it? No. You haven't? No. But it's this rat in New York who like, like crawls up and he's like, he grabs this piece of pizza, piece of pizza, and he's like dragging it back to his home. And it's just like really funny. And I just related to that rat on a deep spiritual level. <laughs> he's gonna get his pizza, he's grimy. I don't know, I just thought it was the funniest thing. So I was like, I want a rat, cause, and pizza, I don't know. It's just like, it made, it makes sense in my head. So that's why I did it. And the quote is too poor for couture. That's just me. <laughs> it's just like, it's so me. And it, I always wanted merch that I would actually wear and not just merch that has my name plastered all over it or has like my face all over it. Cause I wouldn't wear that. And I know the rat is scary and ugly, but that's how, like, that's how he's supposed to be. Cause I'm scary. If we do get the opportunity to make more stuff, of course, I already have another drawing um, I worked on. I made, uh, I can't talk. I just get so excited. I drew a picture of Saint, the dog, our dog. And I wanna make sure with him. And then of course I wanna make more shirts with like random quotes and stuff that I say, because a lot of you guys have always asked me for that. But I just wanna say a big thank you to all you guys out there who have gotten your merch or bought your merch. Um, it means a lot that you support me. And I just like, I couldn't believe that people honestly were buying it. <laughs> I was a little worried at first. I was like, damn, no one's gonna get it. No one's gonna think it's funny. No one's gonna like it. But it turns out like a lot of you did and you ordered it and you support me and I just can't say thank you enough. I mean, that means, it means more than you know. You have no idea. So I appreciate you out there. And when you do get the stuff, make sure to tag me in your pictures, send them to me because I want to see, I want to see it on you. Have any of you guys been following the Chris Watts, Chris Watts case? Would anyone be down for like crime and makeup videos? Look, I get very like heavily involved in crime or murder, mystery stories and stuff. And I don't know if any of you guys have been following the Chris Watts case, but like it's consumed my life to the point where Fernando's like, you need to turn it off. You need to stop watching and reading the discovery. It's just like, it's just, there's so many layers. Yeah, I was like, maybe I can make a video on it where I talk about the case and then like get ready. I need to ask permission first from you guys, my mommies and daddies. <laughs> this is Ofra highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. This is like a really popular one and I, I don't know if I've used it before. So we're gonna try it right now. Here we go. What do you think the infatuation is like with glowing? Why do we like to glow so much? Any ideas? I wanna look like a moist cake. <laughs> Sometimes to like make Fern really uncomfortable. I love embarrassing him. It's just a hobby of mine to be embarrassing. Okay, so sometimes when we're out in the supermarket, I'm just gonna use a little bit of this like right in here. Okay, when we're out, I'll be like, like today, he looked really hot, okay? Like he looked really good. I was just like, oh, you look really hot. And then I'll make this noise like, <laughs> And then usually everybody looks and it's a good time. I highly recommend if you're with someone you find attractive, it just really gets them excited. Okay, I'm gonna put on a coat of mascara and false eyelashes and I'll be right back. 
<laughs> Look at these lashes. They are hot. <laughs> these eyelashes are from Lily Lashes and they're called Lila. I'm going to use a brown lip liner. L'Oreal and it's called Full Blown Fawn, number 974. This thing on my nose is a little much. Isn't it cool? Gucci? Yeah. Guess how much? Is that real Gucci? Is that fake Gucci? It's hella fake. <laughs> I got it off of Amazon. It was cute. <laughs> oh, wait. I wanted to show you guys my outfit. Can we do that? I was going to try and do like a here's my makeup and here's what I'm wearing. Because, I mean, my outfit's not like that great. But just to show you guys. So a lot of people will do makeup and not show you like what they're wearing. And for me personally, I like it when people kind of show you what they are wearing with their makeup. So today I have like this smoke guy that you just saw me do here live in the studio. And this is what I'm wearing. So this shirt I got off of Amazon. It says Girl Power and I distressed it myself. So I added some holes and whatnot. Then I have this belt, which I also got on Amazon. Surprisingly, Amazon has some bomb belts. Then I got these jeans. How do you pose for jeans without being like crotchy? These jeans I got from Levi's during the Black Friday sale. They, all of their jeans were 40% off and these are the wedgie fit. This is my first time getting the wedgie fit and they're comfortable. They have holes in them. They have shit at the bottom. These shoes I got off of Zara, also Black Friday. I don't know if these are on sale or not, but I got them. I don't, I need to stop putting myself down. I was about to say something because it's actually kind of cold. I decided to grab this jacket with it. I know a lot of people think it's lame when girls do the one shoulder thing, but like, let us live. Our one shoulder is hot and needs to be out. So I was doing the one shoulder thing. This I stole from my younger sister, Madison. Thanks for the jacket, girl. Thanks. Let me know if you would like to see more like outfit and makeup videos, cause I can throw them in after I'm done filming. Easy. <sighs> I've had way too much caffeine today. Like I am on a level 20 when I should be at a 10. Oh, I love it. I haven't done like a good black smoky eye in so long. So this was like way overdue. This nude lip situation with the dark liner, kind of love it. Like Pam Anderson, early 2000s, you know? I just seemed like a gloss on top. Um, I hope that you like hanging out with me today and I appreciate you guys so much for watching. It just means more than you know. But other than that, I hope you have a good day. You make good choices. Right. Oh wait, okay, bye guys. Woo! Okay. <laughs>